Hey guys! So, once again, I have a small Target haul and a small Dollar Tree haul. Um, I needed to run in Dollar Tree last night just for a few things like paper plates and things I needed. But I ended up finding some things that I had been wanting and looking for for so long that none of my stores had. But I'm going to start with the Target stuff. There's less of that. Um, so I keep checking the dollar spot every time I go to see if they have different elf costumes. And this time they did. And it's a two-pack. They're little cookie costumes. And I think they're so cute. So I had to pick up this. I got two more candles from the dollar spot. Um, this one says just a little snow and it's scented mountain snow. It smells really nice, but it's in another really cute jar, just like the red one I showed you. And then this one is naughty is the new nice and it is scented fresh cut fur. But I just think these jars are so cute. I'm sorry, it's so bright, it's hard to see the label. But, oh, yeah, that one smells like a Christmas tree to me. I, I will definitely be burning this. Like, I'm not a huge candle person, but I love these types of scents because it just smells Christmassy. Um, and I've told you guys before, I really love their Mix Bar perfume sprays. I have two of them. I have Glass Rose and Vanilla Bourbon and I found a new scent that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, it's Wood Elixir and I don't know it just something about it is very reminiscent to a Bath and Body Works spray and I can't remember the the name of it for the life of me. I feel like it's Twilight Woods or I might be completely wrong but I'm gonna try and find that Bath and Body Works scent because I'm pretty sure this smells just like it and if you liked the Bath and Body Works scent you will like this and these are only $8.99 and oh my god they smell so good I love them I hope they come out with more scents okay I also picked up another pack of these houses to paint because I want to paint some. I got some for Alden to paint. I just think they're really cute. And then they also had this. This is $3. And it's a ceramic gingerbread house for you to paint. But it also lights up. Which I actually didn't realize it lights up until I got home. They also had ceramic Christmas trees just like this that I'm assuming light up as well. But I went with the gingerbread house. I think it's adorable. Um, and for $3, I mean, you can't beat that. I finally found the one mug that I really, really wanted to get this year. I know last year everybody was after the gingerbread mugs, and they're cute, but I don't drink coffee, so I don't know why I love coffee mugs so much because I don't drink coffee, but I do love hot chocolate when it's really cold out during Christmas time, and I got the mug that I've been wanting for so long. The adorable Santa Claus. He's huge, huge handle. It was only $5. They had cute, um, they had Santa Claus, they had elves, they have the gingerbread, and a whole bunch of other really cute Christmas mugs that, like, I wish I could justify buying more. Like, if I drank coffee, I would have a reason to have more mugs, but I don't, so I don't need all of them. But there's so many cute Christmas ones that I want. I just, like, I want to collect mugs, even though I won't use them for the most part. <laughs> um, okay, so I also, I really need new sports bras. Um, specifically black. I just, I like black because I always wear sports bras. So, like, when I wear a black shirt, like, it's hard to tell if it does poke through, uh like this area of my shirt, as long as I'm wearing a black shirt. But you know what I mean, it, it blends in a little bit more. So I got this one because it was half off. It was normally $20 and it was clearanced out to 10. And it's really, really cute. Um, But I, uh, 
I paid for it. I did self-checkout, and then this is the back. So cute. It almost looks like a swimming suit top. Um, I don't know how the alarm didn't go off in the store, but this is still on there. I was going to try it on when I got home, and I was like, oh, no. Um, but I have my receipt. I'll just take, I'm always at Target, so I'll just take this back with me, show them my receipt, and say, can you take this off for me? <laughs> um, I'll even tell them, like, I was you know, self-checking out, and I didn't even see that this was on there, and the alarm didn't go off when I walked out, so, but I, honestly, for $10, I should have got at least another one, and maybe if they do have them next time I go back, I might grab an extra one, just because it's always good to have a good sports bra on hand. As long as I like it, I still gotta try it on. <laughs> um, and I was passing by the jewelry they had this oh my god it was this really pretty like layered necklace so pretty I would have nowhere to wear it to though and it was like $17 so I, I could not justify that but I saw this it was normally $19.99 and it was on sale for $5.99 um it says that it's silver plated the clearance sticker is covering it says watch over my family and so it's just this cute little silver chain and with like a little angel I don't know if you can see the clearance tag but $5.99 so I thought that was really cute and originally $19.99 all right that's everything from Target um I did I do have one thing to show you from Amazon so I just finished the book by Rachel Bloom called The Claws and Christmas, and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with all of the characters. I'm totally into the sappy, happy Christmas books now. Um, and I have two more Christmas books on standby that I've gotten at Target. I think I showed you guys those. Um, but of course, at the end of the Christmas book, um, they kind of leave you with a cliffhanger with one of the characters and the lady's like, oh, if you want to find out more about Eliza's story, check out The Truth in Tiramisu. So I had to buy it. Um, so it's a Poppy Creek novel and there are a bunch of different books in the Poppy Creek novel series. So I'm assuming all of them have to do with the same characters and if that's the case, I will read all of the Poppy Creek novel series. Um, I have not started this one yet. I have my bookmark, though, in there on chapter one, ready to go. But I am excited. I don't think this one is Christmassy at all, which I'm kind of bummed about because I'm in the Christmas mode. But I really want to find out what's going on with this character, okay? <laughs> okay, so what I grabbed at Dollar Tree was I told you I needed paper plates. And normally I just grab a couple of packs of the seasonal plates, but I saw these over by like the party supplies and they were way too cute to not get. Look at how adorable those are. I almost like don't want to use them and get them dirty, but I got two packs of these. You get 16 in each pack. And then... I picked up this pack of little self-adhesive hooks. You get 12 of them. I just feel like these are really nice to have on hand. I picked up this DVD because it looked like something maybe Alden would enjoy watching. It's called Felix and the Hidden Treasure. Don't sleep on the Dollar Tree movies. Like, some of them may look really, like... <sighs> I don't know, just not good. Um, sometimes you find like actual good movies. I've seen the Twilight movies at Dollar Tree. Um, but I got Alden, um, I forgot the name of it now, but it's like a, about a ghost or whatever. This really cute movie and I ended up really liking it. It's funny. I liked watching it with him. So I don't know. I thought this looked cute and that maybe he would enjoy watching it. And then I grabbed these at the checkout because, of course, they always get you at the checkout. And so I got these two packs of, uh, I think they're like surprise minions. They're called Splatums. But I thought these would be good stocking stuffers for Alden. I hope they're different characters. 
you get five pieces. So it looks like you like build this wall and then you fling the minion towards the wall, which is why it's called Splatums. I don't know. Hopefully there are different characters though. I just saw cute stocking stuffer. And then I picked up a little pack of goldfish, um, not necessarily to eat, even though they are delicious. Um, I thought it would be cute to have Alden's elf um, go fishing, and these are perfect for that. <laughs> um, also at the checkout, well, okay, both of these, no, all three of these got me at the checkout. So, of course, I grabbed a pack of gum. I just got the extra polar ice. And then I picked up an eyeglass cleaning cloth just because whenever I'm out or anytime my glasses have smudges or get dirty, I'm always wiping the lenses on my shirt. So now I'll have something to actually clean my glasses with that's meant to clean glasses. And I couldn't remember if I actually have these sunglasses or not. I know they're ginormous, but that's why I was drawn to them. So I got them. <laughs> um... I, I know they're huge, but I love how big they are. I only wish, I don't mind the color of the glasses themselves. I just wish the lenses were black. I'm not a fan of the orangey lenses, but I think they're cute. I don't know. I know I have a tiny head, but I like them. And then, of course, I had to get a pair of cozy socks. They had different colors. I really liked the teal with, like, the gray on the toes and the heel. These are perfect for snow days. All right, this is the really exciting stuff for me. So I think my last Dollar Tree haul, which was what, yesterday? I showed you guys that I picked up some of the black vinyl because I can't ever find any of the fun prints or like the sparkly ones. I still can't find the sparkly ones. But I found a couple of fun ones that I'm super excited about. So when I ran into the Dollar Tree, I knew I was going to at least browse the crafting stuff just to see what they had. And when I saw that they had like a stack of the vinyl boxes, like they were all turned over. So I didn't know what they were. I started turning them over and they were all like the red and white plaid or the red and black plaid. And then... I uncovered the cheetah print one, so I got two of these. I was so excited. And then these, oh my god, two of the holographic. And, I mean, I don't have a Cricut, but there you can do so much with this type of stuff. So I am so pumped to have that. So now I have two black, two cheetah print, and two holographic, and I am beyond excited. Now I really want the sparkly one, but one day. Um, I also picked up this book because if you guys know me at all, you know I love, like, older TV shows. I mean, I Love Lucy is my favorite show, and um, I I like John Wayne. I, I know of John Wayne because of the I Love Lucy episode in Hollywood where she stole his footprints. It's one of my favorite episodes. But I saw this book, and it's... Um, the Films, The Friendship, and the Forging of an American Hero, Wayne and Ford by Nancy Schoenberger. And so I guess it's about the friendship between John Ford and John Wayne. For those that don't know, this is John Wayne, and I'm going to assume that this is John Ford. Um, I don't know. I thought it would be an interesting read. I thought it was kind of cool to find something like this at Dollar Tree, and my mom might even like reading this as well. So... I picked it up and then I know I showed you guys the Christmas hats that I got and I can't remember now if I added this one to my new Dollar Tree bags or if I bought a second elf hat but either way um, I have an elf hat here and I know you guys saw the shiny uh, Christmas hats that I got that I wasn't a fan of, but like I said, they didn't have the plain ones at that store that I went to, but I saw these at the store I went to last night, and they're super cute, so I definitely can't wait to use these. 
So I got this one. It's almost like the ugly Christmas sweater prints. So cute. And then this one with still kind of like the ugly Christmas sweater look, but with snowflakes. So now I just have to force Alden and Jeremy to take a holiday picture with me. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Because actually I have the picture from last year that I edited. So this was just a normal picture of us at the park. And in my little photo editor, I added Christmas hats on us and I put the Merry Christmas on there. <laughs> But, you know, this was a normal park photo, but I turned it into our Christmas photo. But you know what? This year I'm making them sit down and take a Christmas photo with me because I want those memories. And even, like, if Alden groans about it now, which I don't think he cares. Alden loves to be in front of the camera. He's always wanting to do videos with me. He's always wanting to do his own videos um, or having me take a picture of him. But it's Jeremy that I have to, like, talk him into doing a picture. One day when he's old and gray, he will be glad that we have photos of when we were young, you know? So he needs to get over that. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to share all that with you guys. It's actually still pretty early. I think it's just after 10. So I want to go put all of this stuff away. Um, I'm going to make a purchase on Amazon tonight of some Christmas stuff. The, 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 what are words? I was going to say stuff and items at the same time uh, of some Christmas gifts for Alden um, because I told Jeremy, I was like, I really want to get going. I would like to get all of my shopping done this month. That way I'm not stressing in December because I want to be able to enjoy December like as a whole. Like if it snows, I want to be able to go play in the snow and do gingerbread houses and bake cookies and pies and... um. Like, I want to do all the fun stuff, and I don't want to worry about, like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy uh, this person's present because it's December 15th. Like, I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to get everything done this month and go from there. We'll see what happens, but, you know. So I'm going to go order a few things that I have in my cart right now, and then I might start reading this book a little bit tonight. Um, yeah, I do want to craft. It's just lately I've been enjoying just trying to like lay and relax since Alden's been going to bed at a decent time and we don't have to worry about waking up early for school tomorrow. So that is a relief. So I may end up crafting, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know I keep throwing hauls at you. It's not like I'm meaning to, but it is what it is. It sounds like it's raining outside, and I didn't think it was supposed to rain tonight. I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, but um, I am going to warn you. Um, my friend already asked me earlier tonight if we wanted to go to Dollar Tree tomorrow, and I accepted. So... Um, there may be another Dollar Tree haul coming soon, but I'm hoping I don't just go ham and get a bunch of random stuff. I'm going to look for like specific craft items. And honestly, I'm just trying to get like stocking stuffer stuff out of the way. So I want to look for like stocking stuffers for Jeremy, um, you know, Alden. I'll have Alden with me, but... He will be too busy looking at toys himself. So if I add something that I think he'll like to the cart, like he's not going to even really notice. So um, <clears throat> another Dollar Tree haul coming soon. Uh, sorry about that. But it is that time of year. Like I will be shopping a lot more than normal because Christmas is upon us. And don't get me wrong. I'm very excited for Thanksgiving. I already have... Um, all the ingredients for the green bean casserole because stuff sells out so quickly. I keep telling Jeremy, like, go buy a turkey now because by the time Thanksgiving is, you know, next week, all the turkeys are going to be sold out. But hopefully we get one and I already have some stuffing. I don't eat the stuffing, but 
you know, I'm picky, okay? Um, anyways, um, I did actually vlog, um, yesterday, and I showed this stuff to you guys, uh, and I uploaded it, but then I deleted it because I just wasn't happy with it, and then, um, I decided to redo it anyway since I had a few new Target items to show you, so there's that. Oh, I wanted to start this video off saying this in the first place and I just got sidetracked. <laughs> Brittany is free, you guys. We did it. Brittany literally has the best fans in the world and she knows it. Like, we helped free her from something that she was stuck in for 13 teen years. She was abused, traumatized, forced onto medication and into rehabs, and her money had been stolen from her. Oh my god. I am so beyond words. Um, I started to watch the live stream earlier. I watched this guy, Popcorn to Planet, and he had Christopher Melcher, who is a lawyer, live at the rally outside of the courthouse, and I mean, it happened so fast that they said, oh, Britney's free. And like everybody was going nuts. And like I have goosebumps. You probably can't tell. I cried. Like I am so, I'm so beyond happy. Like I know I don't know her in real life, but imagine what she went through. Imagine the kind of torture that she had to deal with, you know, and having her kids be used against her to keep her working to make everybody else money. Um, she lost all of those years with her babies and her, her babies are now teenagers and she did not get to enjoy being a mom and it just, it hurts my heart as a mom because I can't imagine something like that happening to me where I lose so many years of my kids' time. Um, I just, I don't know how many of you like Britney Spears, um, but I know you've had to have heard of her. I literally grew up with her. She came out in the late 90s. And I've loved her ever since she came out. Um, I did have one of her Barbies. I think the only album I owned of hers was um, Slave for You. I remember my mom getting that for me for Christmas one year. But I mean, I still loved all of her music. I still do. I will always love Britney. I will always support Britney. And I will always fight for Britney. And she deserves this. And I couldn't be happier. <sighs> And she's free. We don't have to say free Britney anymore. Britney is free. Her attorney, her lawyer, I, I feel like he's probably like the most beloved man in the world right now because we all rooted for him to help Britney and he came through. He freed our girl, our queen. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm so... I'm so, I, I'm so, like, incredibly happy it's unreal. Um, like, I wish I could just hug Brittany and be like, everything's gonna be okay now. Like, you're free, you can do what you want, there's no restrictions, nobody's stopping you, nobody can steal your money anymore, nobody can take your time with your kids away from you anymore. They can't use your time with your kids against you. They can't force you to work. If she doesn't want to perform anymore, I fully support her. It is still a dream of mine, it always has been, to see her perform live. But if she doesn't want to do that anymore, more power to her. Let's let the woman enjoy the life that had been taken from her for so many years because she deserves it. She worked so damn hard her entire life just for her own family to take advantage of her and tear her down and get her to this place that nobody should ever be put in. Okay, I'm sorry. 
I'm done. I just had to bring it up because I'm so overly excited. Oh, I did also get this shirt tonight at Target. Um, usually I get the really cute um, graphic tees in the men's department, but this was in the, the women's department. It's just a really cute Def Leppard uh, t-shirt. I feel like a poser. Like, I don't listen to Def Leppard all the time, but I know their music, okay? So it's not like I don't know who they are at all. I just don't listen to them 24-7. But I do like Def Leppard. It was between this or Nirvana, and I do really love Nirvana, but I thought this shirt looked better than the Nirvana one. Um, I don't know. I'm also just trying to, like, up my black t-shirt, um... <laughs> game because I want more. I love black. It is slimming. It goes with everything. I just love black. So anyway, I'm going to put all of my stuff away, quit rambling, and maybe go listen to some Britney Spears because today is a day for celebration. So I will talk to you guys again really soon. Don't be upset if it's another haul. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll switch purses and we can do another purse video. Um, we'll see. I, I have ideas. I do want to start crafting again and like showing you guys my crafts because I want to get going for real on my Christmas crafts. So since I took you along for my horror baby dolls, I want to take you along for my Christmas crafts. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!